Capwing Video Editor, how to use Capwing for beginners. Video editing guide. So hello guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. And for today, I will teach you how to use the Capwing in editing your video. So with no further ado, let's get started. What you want to do is to open your browser and type in capwing.com and it will lead you here. So before we really dive into the tutorial, I'm just going to give you a little bit of a heads up here. Now we are actually editing for free. So these are the only things that we could actually access. If we want to have more benefits and more features to unlock, then you have to pay for that. Now we have the pro plan and the four teams plan. And basically these are their um, benefits and features. So I will not focus on that and just start with the tutorial. So here you will see your workspace and you will see here all the projects that you've created. You will see here the templates. So these are the ready-made templates. For example, you're creating a video for your Instagram, YouTube or birthday greeting and so on and so forth. Yet there are free templates here. But for today, I will teach you from scratch. So all you want to do is to create a new project and here you will see these two options you will see start with a black canvas or if you've already have a video and you just want to re-edit it here then there is that is also good so you just have to upload it here but for now we will start with a blank canvas and as you can see here, we have the one by one size canvas. On the right side, you will see this output size where you could adjust the sizes. There are already made sizes for you, but if you are not comfortable with it or it's not what you want, then you could custom size it. So you can see there are there are popular sizes for the OG image, the IG story, Facebook cover, IG post, and so on and so forth. And here you could, I'm just going to tell you that it does not accept inches or centimeter. It accepts the pixels. Now, if you're done inputting your size there, you just click done and it will resize here. Now, you could actually change this color to red, black, yellow, and many more colors. So we are going to create a video here. So what you want to do is to add your media here or your chosen file, for example, your video or your image. For today, I'm just going to add a video and I do not have video. So let's just pick, choose here. So Capwing has a free videos, samples for you. Let's say we are going to create a video about animals. So let's say animals here. This one here, click on this, just click on this monkey, then put it on the other side, and lastly, this hamster, I think, or mice. I don't know, I'm not sure, guys. Just comment below if what is this. So, basically, if you start that one, it will actually move. Now, if you want to edit the duration for this one, just drag this. Now it is on the same duration. And every picture here is you could actually trim it or either crop it. Now, let's say that is our intro video here. We will add this running horse. So let's say we will add it after those three. And just trim it. Now on trimming this, choose that video and basically just drag it. And let's say with that horse. So the downside on using Capwing is it could get very, very laggy. But as a editing tool, it is very nice and it is very easy to use, which is very user friendly. So let's just not mind the lag and let's say let's I'm um, I want to add, if you click on the text on the left side, you will see different fonts here. So let's say I want to use this one and just click that, erase this and let's say Kingdom Animalia. Remember that we've set this to the horse, so the horse is running and you could 
on the right side for example you will you would like to edit the text so all you have to do is to click on this text here on the bottom you could actually text to speech it for example you want it in female american voice or male american voice depending on your choice and you could add effects here and as i have said there are only little features for example here on the effects because we are using a free plan that is why i recommend you to buy a plan now for animation you only have hue rotate and vibrate let's say for the animate there are other transitions here let's say you want to slide it or wipe or reveal let's say i want to use drop no i want to use wipe that one so for example for example we will go back here let's say this and it will look like this you could overlay an image here click on media then choose that image and for example you just you just want to have an image that is for free a pre-made image or already given image so you just have to click on image here and type in the image that you want so let's say so it will search for images of hunters so you could overlay the hunter there and resize it and just manipulate using here you could adjust the color you could crop it and you could erase it for example you want to erase that one you could erase all you want and if you're done just click on done here you will see it's already erased now now as you can see i did not properly erase it but basically that is the idea for example you want to do it like that and it will look like this now if you want to add elements here so they have actually shapes for you different shapes they could actually give you a gif for example you want to have a frame here you will see the frame and add the frames so, and basically you have that one and let's try to recap it and it will look like this if you want to customize it on the right side you will see the tools that you could manipulate it with you could even rotate it or add different layers or you could push it at the back and many more so here you will see audio and if you click on that you could actually upload your own audio if you have you could upload a sound effects let's say horse now if you click on that it will then add the sound effects now here you could manipulate the volume to lessen the volume depending on what you want it to do and if you want to crop it then you could just simply drag it now you could actually add effects on it if you want it to fade away or for the timing let's say you want to start it here then set it here the time here just put the time here and then end and then put the time here now you could actually also add different transitions for this so all you have to do is to pick the transitions here so what is the other nice feature of this is you could actually record screen and camera directly through the video you could record screen you could record camera directly and even record your audio that is how you edit through keep wing now let's say you want to export this video now let us wait for it to be exported so as you can see here on the right side you will see these options here so here you will have your coupling um link for this video and you could share it to your twitter your facebook your tiktok and here you could even re-edit this project or copy project and then edit and you can download this one so as you can see here this is the video that we've edited so as you can see here this video is public so you could actually private that 
but as I have said, you need to upgrade to Pro to set your content into private. As for Capwing as an editing tool or video editing tool, it is actually nice. But the thing is, while you are editing, it could get very, very laggy. And let's say, let's download this one. Now let's see this video here. So this is the project that we've just finished or edited. So as you can see here, there are no lags to the finished product. It's just on the editing phase that makes it kind of laggy. But I highly recommend you to use Capwing if you are just new to editing because you could actually add a lot of features that are not present to other editing tools. So that is all for today and that is how you edit video using Capwing and as you can see, it is very user friendly. If this video helped you, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and click on the notification bell to keep you updated. Leave a comment below for the best tips and tricks that I have taught you in this video. And I'll see you in our next video. Thank you for watching.